Hello everyone. Under the ECMO troubleshooting simplified series, today we will see about bleeding. When bleeding happens on ECMO, it will decrease the ECMO blood flows. And chattering of uh, venous lines can happen. Severe anemia can happen and uh, oozing from all cannula sites. What causes this bleeding on ECMO? Using anticoagulants, disseminated intravascular coagulopathy due to liver dysfunction, coagulopathy due to critical illness and due to thrombocytopathy. How to prevent this bleeding on ECMO? Examine the cannulation sites periodically. Assess pericardial, pleural, abdominal and retroperitoneal spaces with imaging. Do ACTs accordingly. And do APTT every 6th hourly. Check the following values periodically also. INR, APTT, hemoglobin, platelets, D-dimer, fibrinogen, 10 A levels and keep it in the normal range. How to manage this bleeding on ECMO? Decrease or stop the anticoagulation to maintain the APTT in the range of 50 to 75 seconds. Transfuse TRBCs to maintain adequate hemoglobin. Correct elevated INR and APTT with a fresh frozen plasma or prothrombin complex concentrates. Correct thrombocytopenia and low fibrinogen level with uh, platelets and cryoprecipitate transfusion. Correct surgical sources of bleeding if it exists. If light threatening bleeding persists, it may require the removal of ECMO.